Yeah, my question is, um, uh, basically, I am married and I have two kids. Yeah, my husband. I live in London. My husband lives in Denmark. Mm. And um, before we got married, he said to me that he's moving from Denmark to come and stay with me in London. He he has um, he used to be married to a non-Muslim woman, but they stick together with a non-Muslim woman, and they got big kids. And then they've got a house together. They pay mortgage together, but then after a couple of years, he, he comes to London. Every three months, he'll come only two days or three days. Like it's been for nine years, but now I've got two kids. But then I'm tired of this life, so I was gonna ask, what's my ruling of me asking for divorce? I'm, I'm sorry, yeah, sister Halima, I I got lost a little bit. You said that your husband was married to another person. Yeah, but he's a non-Muslim woman. Got it. But, but they're, they're still together. Together, but he, when he married to me, this he wanted is, to marry me. Said, I'm getting divorced. Yeah, so Halima, this is where I got yes. confused. You said they were married before. So currently, are they married? Currently, I don't know the situation. He told me that they were filing for divorce long time ago, but they're still the same house because they have house together. Uh -huh. They pay mortgage together. But he's telling me we don't have relationship, but we're living together. How? And they have kids. How? How do you consider yourself not married and live with the same person in the same house, even if he was an ex-husband? When a person divorces his wife, as long as the idda is still on, he can take her back. He didn't take her. We don't wait for the papers to be processed. She's become divorced. So they are not allowed to be together unless if they get married again. So you need to ask him a straightforward question. Are you married or not married? If you're not married, then it's not permissible to stay in the house and live with her. This is not permissible. Can you do that? Staying together. Yeah, he's, they're staying together. I try, I try my best to say what he's doing is haram because the, the, the lady is non-Muslim as well. Again, if she uh, is, I, I, you know, we, we all know that in the Quran, Allah says, وَالْمُحْصَنَاتُ مِنَ الْمُؤْمِنَاتِ وَالْمُحْصَنَاتُ مِنَ الَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْكِتَابَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ The fifth ayah of chapter number five, Surah Al-Ma'idah. So if she's Christian, if she's Jewish, and she's a chaste woman, okay, it's okay. But we're talking about, even if she's Muslim, if she, even if she's a Muslim woman, are they married or not married? You said they're not married. Correct? He's telling me they're not married. They're filing for divorce, but divorce is not processed, so... But they're not having intercourse or anything. They live in one house. And me, I'm raising my kids. I'm trying my best. Like I'm doing school, madrasa, I take them everywhere. So basically, I'm raising my kids by myself. So I was saying, Sheikh, for me asking a divorce, is it like am I committing a sin? Well, uh, by the way, not only in your case, if any woman, if any Muslim woman, she feels that she cannot take it anymore with her husband, she feels under pressure, she feels that her, her life is miserable. She is permitted to ask for divorce. Not only you, any woman, any woman who is not happy with the husband, psychologically, morally, physically, he's abusive. Uh, she feels that this marriage cannot last. So does she have the right to say, I want a divorce? Of course. A woman at the time of an Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, my husband is religious. My husband is generous. My husband, I don't like him. And I cannot just live with him. So the husband doesn't want to give divorce. There's an alternative which is called khula, even against the husband's will. But in this case, I'll give him back what he paid me as far as dowry. Okay? So if you're asking about the sin, not only in your case, but a woman whose husband doesn't pray, a woman whose husband uh, sells what is forbidden and his income is haram, a woman who knows that her husband is involved in illicit relationships. Does she have the right to ask for divorce? Absolutely. Barakallahu feekum.